So we poured aircrete into the form yesterday and this is what it looks like. You can see that there's uh, one by fours there. So I come here and I remove the pins, the nails that are holding the one by four in. And then I remove the pin from the hinge and that allows this outside piece to just come right apart there. So it just comes right off. So I do the same thing to the other side. The pin is removed from the form. And I can then unhinge the form. Then this part just comes right off. And I set it to the side. And here's the air crete under the plastic. So it's it's the thickness of a 2x4. So the blocks are, are that thick. And these, these are about eight, 8 feet long here. And we'll take this now and separate this, this uh, center piece here. Separate that one. Separate that one. And then I'll show a video of what comes next. So the blocks, this is after one day cure. They're very easy to cut, as you can see. Go through and cut them. And then I separate them like so. Come out like so. And very lightweight, but they will continue to harden for 30 days, 30 or 60 days, into a solid, pretty solid brick that we can use. It's very lightweight, but you can see the bricks that we have here. The ones that are chipped like this, we can still use these because as we're putting them together we can fill in with cement and it will fill in but uh, cement frothed up with air bubbles makes a very light strong brick and this is what we will use and Julie and I have been making them out of these and then let's get over there making all these all these aircrete blocks We've been keeping them wet, um, stacking them. They're, they're very lightweight. And you can see we've got many, many, many of them here stacked up. We're getting ready for, getting ready to start laying blocks for the house. We've got them over here in the shade so we can wet them and keep them wet and uh, continue to allow them to harden up naturally but uh, some of them are lighter very light and others are a little more dense and a little heavier uh, and some uh, didn't quite turn out quite right like this one here has a frothy mixture at the bottom and a real hard compact thick layer Almost like a tile. It's like we put a tile on top of this guy. So uh, we may not use certain certain blocks, but but we can use these for other things. Like if we lay this down somewhere, we could use this like uh, like a stepping area. So I don't know. We'll see. But just wanted to show you all the aircrete blocks we're making here as we get ready to build the dome. Can you 
the archway, which will be the entrance. We poured the uh, entranceway uh, foundation there the other day. And you can see the tracks of a lizard. And where I did some repair work from where the dogs got on it. But this framework will hold up the uh, blocks for now. And we've started taking the blocks and putting them in place. There's Julie. This is our first practice run at doing this. So this is a mixture of cement, water, and uh, aircrete foam. But a much less foam mixture, so it's mostly a thick slurry that we put on there. And you can see how it turns out. So she's coating each of the sides. Okay, she's putting it up against the wood because the first three feet or so are, of our dome are vertical. So we're lining up the blocks with the uh, wood there, stake that's our guide, and then joining them there. Okay, she's smoothing that out. Notice with aircrete, it's just a, a frothy mixture that's thick, so it's easy to work with. So it'll be a straight wall up to that level, and then as the arm rotates up, the, the dome will be formed up that way. Yeah. It's like epoxy. It's easy to work with when it's nice and wet. And then overnight it should harden up. Uh, and then over the next month it really hardens up nice and hard.